Come to Paris and ask how to get around and people will say, oh, that's in the 11th, that's in the 12th, that's in the 3rd. What are they talking about? They're talking about districts. There's 20 of them in Paris and they're all identified on your street signs. Right now, we are in the 3rd district. Each district has a photo highlight and we're going to check out all of them right now, so stay tuned. Okay, let's explore. The 1st district is the home to the Louvre Museum, the world's most visited with nearly 10 million yearly patrons. Need we say any more? Second is the smallest of the Uranishments. The area is known for shopping and a large Asian community. While the third has many great museums devoted to Pablo Picasso, Jewish history and art, and Victor Hugo, the author of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Fourth is home to the Jewish Quarter called the Marais, where you can stand on line for a long time to order a falafel. It's also where you will see the famed 12th century Notre Dame Church. The fifth, the Latin Quarter and the famed bookstore Shakespeare and Company. Sixth, Saint-Germain, home to the Luxembourg Gardens relaxation spot for so many Parisians. Seventh, the home de Rue Claire, the quiet and nostalgic neighborhood at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. And might I mention, it's also home to said tower. It's also where you will find the Orsay Museum, which attracts some of the overflow from the Louvre. Eighth, the Champs Elysees Shopping District and the Arc de Triomphe Monument, as well as one of my favorites, the Alexander III Bridge. Ninth, Paris's first sweet shop is here, home to over 1,000 different kinds of chocolates, and a shopping mall that looks like an old opera palace. Tenth, residential neighborhood with several markets, including the St. Quentin. Eleventh, the canal, popular with local fishing enthusiasts. Twelfth, home to the giant open-air food market, the D'Alegre, where vendors will sing for you. Thirteenth, a swimming pool named for beloved 20th century entertainer Josephine Baker. Fourteenth, the Montparnasse Tower in its sky-high view of Paris is here. Fifteenth, how about a museum devoted to postal history? Sixteenth, Trocadero Square directly across from the Eiffel Tower for the best view in Paris as well as the Museum of Wine. Where else but Paris for that? 17th, residential neighborhood that's home to a sliver of the Arc de Triomphe and a great food market on Rue Poncelet. 18th, Montmartre, where artists come up to patrons at cafes and sketch their portraits and where you can look from above the mountain all over Paris. 19th has two highlights, the largest park in Paris, the De La Ville and the Museum of Music. 20th, the world-renowned Père Lachaise Cemetery is here, the final resting place for everyone from Frédéric Chopin, Edith Piaf, and Jim Morrison from The Doors. For more information about Paris and everything we've covered in these episodes, be sure to check out the blog section of our PhotoWalksTV.com website. Do me a favor, subscribe to PhotoWalks TV's newsletter, where photo meets tech meets travel, jeffersongram.substack.com. Don't forget to subscribe to PhotoWalks TV right here on YouTube and stay tuned for more of our episodes from France. See you on the next PhotoWalk, everyone. Bye-bye.